fans of top Israeli club Beitar Jerusalem have over the years developed a reputation for racist attitudes. Anti-Islamic chanting, banners and general bad behaviour has been common, especially when they play Arab sides or teams with one or two Arab or Muslim players. Last weekend it was announced that their owner, Russian-Israeli billionaire Akradi Gaidamak, had signed two new players from Russian side Terek Grozny, both of them Chechen Muslims. The Beitar fans were quick to react and made it clear both in the stadium and then via social media outlets that they will not accept Zaya Sadiev and Gabriel Kadiev in the team. However, Gaidamak has not backed down and the pair were presented at a press conference in Jerusalem on Wednesday evening. I am very happy to be here. I will make the fans happy. The hardcore supporters of Beitar Jerusalem call themselves La Familia and are proud of the fact that theirs is the only team in the Israel Premier League that has never had an Arab player on the books. Abigail Sharabi, a member of La Familia, isn't alone in not welcoming the new signings. Akadi Gaidamak decided on Saturday morning to drop a bomb on Israeli football and, of course, on Beitar Jerusalem, and he announced that he had signed two Muslim Chechens to the side. This news was met with anger, a great deal of anger among the fans. In Beitar Jerusalem, ever since it was founded, there has never been an Arab Muslim player. The racism issue is deflecting attention from other curious opinions on why Gaidamak wants Sadiev and Kadiev in his team with neither player coming with much of a footballing pedigree. Yeah. Gaydon Mack, meanwhile, has denounced the angry Beitar fans, referring to them as a small minority of uneducated people who don't understand the slogans they are shouting.